We figure we bring you it's along not with our us. Favorite place is it? Well, yeah, to get our meat. <laughs> We're stocking up on carnivore. We figured, what the heck? Why don't we just go live? Yeah. Well, we did last time, and how's everybody Jen, seemed to like it. How's Jen feeling? Can I show you guys one thing really quick? There's yeah, only sure. two people on yeah, here, let's but see. let's see. But you'll be able to. Maybe sometimes somebody will go back and look. So I wore this outfit a couple of months ago. One second. All right. I know I'm not skinny, but look it. This was so so tight. It was like this, and it was so tight. Look at this. I got so much room in here. It's been what 23 days now. So I can't wait for months or even a year to see what I'm gonna look like. So before we go into Costco, I just wanted to show you that I'm so proud of myself and I'm so thankful uh, for all of you that have been giving me support and contacting me and all the friends and family that I made. That's all I gotta say about that. I'm gonna be doing a um, 30 day update. So it's next Monday, I'll be doing my own video. Carrie will be gone because he's got a film. So it'll be just me. And I'm gonna do a video for you guys telling you my update, how I feel. I'm going to measure myself. I, I already, I, obviously I lost a couple inches already. So um, unfortunately I didn't measure myself. I know how much I weigh. I didn't really go down much, but the swelling went down and I feel really happy. So enough about me. Let's go into Costco. You guys like this last time. I think we had like six or seven hundred. What are you getting for yourself this time, Jen? Um, eggs, yes, lots of butter, eggs. patties, butter. ground beef. Yeah, ground beef. And I get New York strips. I was thinking on maybe a turkey or something, but adding a bunch of butter to it. Because I want to switch it up a little bit. So I'll try that. I'll show you what they got here. Oh, it's that time of year. Almonds. What is that, Jenna? Fern? Conifer. Spruce. Maybe get a cart. You have a cart. That one. Right off the bat, you got all your skincare stuff. Right? If you guys follow Emma, she hates all that stuff. There's so many chemicals in it. I got all the summer stuff out now. That's kind of exciting. Yeah, so nice Are we getting any non carnivore household stuff that we need today? Clothes, Jen? Outdoor stuff. Oh, we got some chairs there. We need any new chairs? No, we have four of those that I gotta put together. The one to chairs that we have. Yeah, four of them I gotta put together. Some good on that. We sell though. We're even in. I have asthma. The lawn stuff, it's crazy because all the chemicals that are in it's all chemicals. So we have goats. I don't want to put chemicals in there. And they're food. Because they eat grass, it's just a bunch of chemicals that you're putting in there. This is really sad. This is actually what I need. So the back of the dog kennel, this is what we need because it's just all sand back here and mud. Hey, we got one of these. Got yeah, a couple of those. Company sent us one of these to do a video on. We got one of those too. That's why I had the Cyclops cat. Okay. Yeah, big that one. It was no cow. Jen, what day are you a carnivore? Uh, 23? Day 23. Thank you. 
go to Walmart at six dollars. Probably that big of a tire, but this is get the whole Jen loves shopping. And it's I do, I'm sorry. I work hard for my money is what I say. So the one you get at Walmart is not this heavy, it's probably half the size. And it's like six bucks for that. So that's not a bad quality. Sure. Winnipeg said, I'm 400 pounds seriously thinking of doing the carnivore way of life. I hate water. I will miss sweet sun tea and coffee, but I guess it's not forever. Me too. Carrie says I'm weird because I hated water. Now I just down it all the time. I'm always having water. My thing was, was soda. It was diet soda. All the time. I'm totally pretty much out of the gross. Uh, it was always soda for me, so it is hard drinking water. But once you get going, your body just wants it. So that's my advice. Jen's going nuts shopping. No. Emma would be, watch Emma's video. If you guys haven't seen it, Emma the Carnivore, she did a whole video on that. You'd just be surprised how much stuff goes in there. All right, so we need a microphone on Jen, they said. We have to upgrade. And then we need a boom mic and a... So what are we mainly here for, Jen? Just looking. No, we're here for, we're here for meat, eggs, butter. They do have really good water. People said, weren't you here last week? We're here pretty much every week. We come here once a week. Yeah, because we need our, our eggs because we have, I don't know, 10 chickens or something. And we do like an Easter egg hunt. And they're a little bit older, so we don't get eggs from them every day. So unfortunately, we're going to need some more chickens this summer. So we come here and buy it because it comes in the bulk, so it's easier. Yeah, we need a boom mic and we need a filming crew and we need the proper lighting. And then we got to get permits signed. Can we get permission to film here inside yeah, Costco? You have somebody's face on it, you can't do that. Yeah, we're going to have to get waivers from everyone here. Do you want to go down there? Nah. <laughs> you need any clothes, Jen? No, but like I said, for you that didn't see, look at this. I wore this a few months ago. And it was so tight. Look how baggy it is. I love mm -hmm. it. Go get a tighter one. I like showing this. All right, we're going to my favorite spot. Yeah. I'm going to get a bunch of New York strip steaks. I decided I'm going to do two batches this time. I ate some New York strip steaks the other day. Let me go like this. I had some <laughs> strip steaks the other day. And I had one in the fridge for a couple days. And I ate it cold for breakfast. It was so good. So I'm like, why don't I just make it a little easier and smoke up two packages at one time and then just leave them in the fridge. So that's what I'm going to do. Switch with me. Switch with you, yes. All right. This is what he always goes for. New York Strip. Yeah, the girls love that too. Should I get two or not? a lot. Well, you'll be here for a week yet. I don't want to come back. Yeah, I like the water from here. Please give meat prices, Carrie. $25. So it's 25 for that. 24 a pound. Six twenty-four a pound. And then he said that one is twelve dollars. You guys can hear me. Twelve dollars a pound. Hi, Mario. Oh, you made a power bowl. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, Carrie. Carrie did those, right? You made the power bowls. Six dollars a pound. 
So six dollars a pound, but that will feed all of us for a day or two. That's a a stew oil. meat. So if anybody saw that before, that's just a water, salt, and a stick of butter in there. So here's some more. This is my What's favorite. that? This is a ribeye roast. You cut your ribeye off of there yourself. That is 14 a pound. See, what is it if you cut it yourself versus you have them cut it? Oh, well, can you guys, can we have Costco cut the meat here? I don't know. Can they do that? So, this is the same. Yeah, we've heard about that before. Somebody, uh, Luann said, be careful with leftover beef if you have histamine issues. Yeah, I don't. But I'm aware of This is the same price. If you cut it yourself versus if they cut it, it's fourteen dollars a pound either way. Ah, okay. This is better in my opinion. If you can cut them quickly. Try the stew meat. Like I said, the recipe is just water, a stick of butter, and some salt. I don't do salt anymore. Well, we do. Huh. All right, what else? Do you do? <laughs> Sam said stew meat number six on the carries list. Yeah. Yep, you watched them. Got it. This is what I really want to do. That's all right, gotta go over here. I want to get those kids on camera. Hello, 309 people on here. Hello, everybody. $4 a pound, beef brisket. Okay. Beef brisket. You smoke it up in the smoker for overnight. Why didn't you get that then? Because I haven't done it yet. I don't know. Oh. What should do it? Somebody said Pubix will custom cut meat for you. I think you pronounced that wrong, but okay. <laughs> Did I? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Publix, is that it? Sorry. <laughs> We don't have one of those around here, so I don't know how to say it. What does that mean, microbladed? Gary probably knows, but... The the ah, thank you. Yep, meat. see, he knew. Yeah, whoops, <laughs> wrong word. Yeah, eggs, Last week, they did not have eggs here, so we're going to see if they have eggs this time. You guys missed this? 8.69. Yeah, no. One of these two. <laughs> generously frosted cinnamon rolls. That sure they is generously. Very generously. Right. Uh, thank you for letting me know. I didn't know that. You learn something new every 46 day. 46 carbs. Look at this. Sam said yuck. Look at this ingredients list. So you don't even get real flour. It's enriched wheat flour, brown Dried sugar, margarine, which is seed oils, canola oil. Caramel. What is the last word? I can't see it on camera. Powdered oh, sugar, caramel color. cream cheese, dextrose, vegetable oil. Yeah, that's this crazy. is inflammation in a box. Hit it. Well, oh, yeah. Oh my these. gosh. I love Oreos. We gotta get one of these. No, I'm sorry. Back in the fatty days, yeah, we would probably get a couple of those. Fifty-two carbs. Wow. Fifty-two carbs. Wow. Never know. Icing break in. sugar, <laughs> sugar water, vegetable oil, Hi, shortening, here. canola oil. Yeah, that's sad when because. We turn the lights off. We'll come back and grab some. Pizza. Yeah, no. Oh, we'll yeah. see if they have eggs. Okay, last week they didn't have eggs here. I only have a big case of eggs. I know, right? It should say this is poison because you know before I started carnivore <laughs> twenty-three days ago. I, I probably would have ate that crap, and I didn't know. So that's the thing with Carrie's documentary is we're trying to get people to know. Are you being that's careful where you're for you. Yes, so I'm not I'm aiming at anybody. Y'all go to Costco more than I do. Yeah, we go once a week. I know. Thank you. Somebody said, um, T. Nicole said, I sent a lot of people to meet sisters. <clears throat> yes, but unfortunately, someone called me out, thankfully, that I was seeing Lynn Tucker Carnivore had it that was meat sisters it was not it limitless lindy. it was limitless lindy i felt so bad that i did that um so thank you whoever shouted me out oh i'm sorry he's yelling at me that i'm aiming at the ground listen to me just listen to me only okay yeah no i don't think so Sorry, I'm reading the comments. Aim it at your face or something. I don't want people to look at me. <laughs> okay, we, need, we, need, uh, we need more ground beef or patties. I am the captain of my own ship. Yes, yes. I feel much better. Do I miss the sugars? Yes. I'm a sugar addict. I'm going to miss the sugars. But it's going to go away. What is that, Carrie? 
That's Angus chuck beef patties. You know, we always get these ones, but the girls don't like these anymore. They've been yeah, complaining and not eating them. Right. 25% fat. It's, well, it's not keto con anymore. It's hack your health. Yes, Carrie and the girls would be there. I have to stay back and watch the theater and stuff. Make sure this is straight up meat. Zero carbs, zero added sugars, protein. Mary, oh, were you guys at the meet up? <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys are getting bored of the camera view, but I don't like being on camera, so we'll just look at Carrie <laughs> and all the stuff that we have. Oh, it's much nicer. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> He's more handsome, though. I don't look very. This is Alyssa's favorite. Did Carrie have his meeting yet today? Meeting for what? Homestead Carrie, did you have a meeting? Oh yes, no, in the Homestead Rescue, we gotta go at four o'clock. So we're trying to, we're, this is our date day. So we're doing it really out of order. Yes, he is my husband. Almost 30 years together now. What was that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we just had our 20th anniversary, so yeah. All right, I know you, most of you guys don't like cheese, but I'm still on a cheese kick. What was the bag he put under the cart? He, that was charcoal, right? No, that's no? Uh, pellets. Oh, oh pellets. pellets. Okay, sorry. I need to get a, I need to get a, a charcoal chip. Ah. I keep using the, I keep lighting my charcoal with lighter fluid and it's bad and dangerous and it makes the taste weird. You get like a chimney thing to put the charcoal in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm also reading. Somebody said, how is the new Carrie compared to the old Carrie as his wife? Wow, that's, yeah, that's a very good, yeah, can you go away? I got a lot of bad stuff to say. <laughs> He's so much better right now. Um, he is, he was pretty much dying. I was watching my, try not to get that lady on camera. He, thank you for the happy anniversary. He um, was pretty much dying. Yes, he uh, was on so much medications for his heart. That is much better now. Um, he was on medications for depression. So if you have a loved one that's depressed, they're never around. He was never around. So he's much better now. He's healthier, he's here more, he's here for the kids, we're more active. What bacon do you guys eat, he's asking. Somebody said the Costco bacon is not very good. So he looks, and to make sure there's no sugar in it. Can you go here, because I'm, I'm in the way of somebody. <laughs> All right, hold on, big turn. Thank you for not replying. What was the question? Ah, Carrie, stop. That, that never gets old. Jen, when you are slimmer and trimmer and walking through Costco with your man, you will see people checking out your cart <laughs> and what you two are buying. Happens to me and my hubby every time. Yeah, do I you mean. you guys do that to other people? Because I do it all the time. He does, and I'm it like, drives me oh, nuts. Man, don't, you don't want that. No, just take that out of the cart. So just, just Laura Lee, what's going on? She said, I've been dying alone in my house for three years. Come on, we're all family here. How can we help you? Seriously, we're all family. I have, let's see how many people are on here. 449 people. Y'all are my family. All right, what you got? Oh yeah, lots of butter. This is one of Jen's favorites, right? Yep. One for you and one for me. You yeah, kind of I will just eat it. I, I, what, is, what is carnivore all about, Jen? Fat. Fat of Fat of All right, what else do you need? Sorry, I'm trying to read your guys' comments so I don't really have the camera going much. Good, Laura. You're starting carnivore kind of now. Well, you know, I only started 23 days ago. So once you do, you will feel so much better. I promise you. Like I said, 442 people on here. We're all family. So if you have any questions, always reach out. Don't feel ashamed. Don't stay home alone. You got all of us. You don't ever have to feel that you're alone. Yes, some more butter, please. That's funny. Once you look at the card. <laughs> Hey, one other thing that we're doing that mm. we got better at is we have a cooler in the back of our truck at all times. Mm -hmm. 
And we brought some ice from here just so, because sometimes this is our date day and then we're like, we got to rush home because I don't want all this stuff getting hot in the car. It's warming up. Throw it in the cooler. Right, Jen? Yep. Somebody said, uh, think about it, said boneless leg of lamb, slice it up in, into steaks. Yum. Yeah, I'm not a big lamb fan. Matthew Reynolds said, what are some good snacks to stop the carb crave? Butter. Bacon. Yeah, butter, butter, butter. Bacon. Yes, what I said. Bacon, bacon, bacon. You got a craving, you eat bacon. If you have a craving, it's probably because you're not eating enough fat. You can get fat in bacon, you can get fat in your food. Get more fat. Everyone on carnivore, that should be the number one thing that people learn is. It's called fativore. You need more fat. Most people don't get enough fat. Then they get those cravings, then they get tired, then they get fatigued. I'll tell you what right now, I have never felt better in my entire life. The last like five days or so, I've been doing no salt. I'm not recommending this to people. I'm not saying everyone doesn't have to do no salt. I'm just doing a little experiment, but doing that, and I've also been doing lion, so I've only been eating, I eat this every day. I've only been eating fatty, ruminant animal meat. I haven't had any of this other stuff. This is for the girls. I haven't had any eggs or chicken or anything like that. I haven't felt better. Have I, Jim? Yeah. No, I'm trying to read the comments. TK said, Jen, sorry, I'm walking and trying to read at the same time. Let me stop. I am a day one because of you. No, it's not because of me. It's because of you. You made the choice to be the captain of your own ship. So no, it is because of you. So now I'm going down and reading some more. Yes, we all have to do our own part. Have me at bacon. <laughs> Clean pork rinds. You know what? We have pork rinds at the theater. Um, he buys them from Target. So we have something at the theater. And I those... The ones from Target are clean. We gotta go to the two bedroom. Should we take them there next? You guys wanna go to Target? You wanna go to Target? <laughs> Wait, I'm reading. Something. You can't read them all. Wait, it said something about Jen. <laughs> I don't like being followed. Look, your shorts, you need shorts. He had a pair of shorts on today. He's like, look, I had they're way too big. And they were. These are really cute. You like these? Nope. Guys, you like these? Girls, you like these? You like security shorts? Uh, no. Why don't you like the little green ones? Here, you need shorts. I don't need shorts. I don't wear shorts. I like to wear pants. What about these ones? Don't like those. Those are shorts. Find yourself something. Find yourself something. No, I like stuff. Should we, um, should we go to Target then? I gotta get I, to unless they target. unless they have one here. I, I want to get one of those chimney things. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening when you said it. I didn't even comment. You put the charcoal in it, and you get your charcoal heated up instead of spraying lighter fluid all over it. Is that what JT did? Yes. Okay. That's what all the pros do. Okay. I've been rookie. I will tell you guys one thing. I'm kind of looking forward to. I haven't worn shorts in probably. What would you say? Thirty years. I probably haven't worn shorts. I bought myself a dress. Get it. That's your inspiration. You can hang it up. That is. Look, it's a sport. I like it because they're shorts, but it's a sport. Squirt. It's a sport. Look, it's, it's a skirt, but then it has shorts in it. It's like a spork. I like it. Spoon and a sport. fork in one. Can you see me in the... Oh, God. Go for it. Can you see me in the... Are you going to get it or not? Oh, guys, this could take a long time. This could take a... Welcome to my life. I want to read comments while she shops. I'm going to grab one, but I'm not showing you guys what size it is because it's big now, but like I said, look at this. Jay Bovet so... said, all the money you're saving not buying garbage and poisoning, Jen, treat yourself. Karen Harrington said she loves skorts, too. Everyone right. loves skorts. There's lots of love for the skorts. So that's all I let the girls wear because, you know, they're girls. So this is the first time I have ever heard the word skort. Really? Skort. It's like a fork and a spoon all together. That's a spork. All right. Did you get it? Yes, but I said I'm not showing my size. Where is it? Nobody cares. I care. It's embarrassing. Oh, Carrie. She got one. Okay. That's embarrassing. Baby steps. But I'm working on it, guys. All right. Are we good? Should we go to Target now? I like white shoes. I don't know why. For that reason, I like white pants. Really? White? Me? Homesteader? White pants? I don't know. I'm looking forward to it because all this stuff is not this much. So all this stuff I'm going to be able to wear. Someone That's said, instead of bacon, have the meat department slate 
the slice the fresh pork belly. Do they do that here at Costco? I bought the pork belly here and sliced it myself. Oh my gosh, I wish I remember her. You, you probably might remember Audra. What was her YouTube channel? I just subscribed today and I forgot what it was called. Audra something. But she uh, freezes her meat and then she'll slice it up really thin. And I think, did you try it here? It was pork wine? Yeah, it was and good. Brisket. And Emma absolutely loved it. Yeah. Someone says, we don't have a Costco here. Everything Audra, everything Audra. Thank you. Great yes, YouTube channel. Subscribe to her. She's amazing. She came all the way up. North she Carolina. flew here. She flew just for the, the meetup, which was amazing. John Jr. has just said 76 times, buy something for a homeless. All right. Should we get into that? We've done so many homeless videos. Homeless people videos we go out. We we'll go buy them some patties. We'll buy them some patties. I see somebody on the street. It's got to be carnivore approved. I always do. Okay, after this, we're going to run to McDonald's. We're going to get some patties. Some for me, some for Jen, and some for John Jr.'s. Yeah, I'm wearing that belt right now. Yes, but don't you need a new one? No. Because you lost so much? No, it's adjustable. That's my that was my carnivore belt I bought afterwards. My old belt I had to get, do away with. I put too many holes in it. Oh, should we get cereal, Jen? Oh Cheerios, that's so good for you. It's heart healthy. Yes, it's got brains in it. It gives you all the vitamins and minerals you need. Brownies? What about this? This used to be my favorite. Yeah, I miss that, but you know what? I don't miss the fat. Can we go look at the garbage um, keto food and make fun of that, Jen? Mm -hmm. This stuff used to be kind of decent. Now I heard that um, the olive oil that they use in there is... Um, oh, what's the word? Daddy McButterpants and I would eat this all the time. Yeah, we could crush that whole box in the oh, car right home. Man, that's terrible. That's it. I love tulips. Roses, nah. Tulips, yes. It smells good. Beautiful. I'm supposed to buy you one now, Jen? No, I'm going to get yelled at if I don't now. I don't want them. I want him to go out and buy them on his own. Oh, I'll make a note of it. <laughs> How many times have I bought you flowers over the last 30 years, Jen? Four times. What's you got there, Jen? I got some shavers, Jen. Okay, it's too much it's info. It's summertime and I got shorts, so I need a shaver. Let's see over here real quick. Jump, 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 jump. I mean, at least in that one, they were using avocado oil, but then it had bacterial enzymes. That doesn't sound very appetizing to me. For me, it's not keto unless it's got one ingredient. And then at that point, you're pretty much carnivore anyway. All right, where did Jen go? Oh, she's, she's, she's going, she's going for it. Do you have the card, Jen? Adam said, go grab some donuts. 
No? Adam, I'm trying to be good. Thank you. We were going to go with Cinnabons. Yeah, did you see those Cinnabons on there? Nuts. Hello, how are we doing? Good, how are you? Thank you. Did that not work? No, it did. Okay. Jen, I gotta run to the bathroom quick. Can you manage this? Oh, I can try. Just don't even. Alright, guys, it's me again. What's an egg wrap? Thank you so much, John. I appreciate that. Squirts, yeah. I don't say I will put that online. I don't think I'm, I'm not comfortable wearing shorts. As far as the pork rinds, it was, well, if you guys are interested, we'll take you to Target, depending if you guys want to go with us or not, but we'll show you. Sorry, I know I'm pointing at the ground, but I don't want to show anybody's face. It's boring, I know. Egg whites wrapped like tortillas. Really? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to try that. Hi there. You don't like being on camera. You can see how red my face is. I actually got some color in it. Mm. Lily bought me my necklace for my birthday. I love turtles. All right, so she got me. Is your Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. What do I do? You want to wait for me for a Did you get ice? I didn't. Jen's running to the restroom. I'm going to hit the snack bar up and get one of those little ice cream churro mix things. A slice of pizza that used to be the go-to hot dog with a Pepsi so after this we're gonna go get some patties from uh, McDonald's and find a homeless guy to give them out to per a suggestion in the comment here let's see what questions we have what kind of pork rinds donut is a zero loss You don't buy brown eggs. Um, I want to get farm fresh best eggs we can, but no, honestly, lately we've been getting whatever we can. We go through, we go through so many. We go through uh, probably 25 eggs a day at my house. Huge breakfast, we got six people all eating carnivore. But that is my goal on the homestead, is I want to get enough chickens to give us enough eggs that I never have to buy them from the grocery store and they're farm fresh eggs and they're properly, they're not eating some crappy toxin grain garbage, stuff like that. Gotta watch pork rinds because there are carbs in some brands. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta be a food detective with everything, unfortunately. Color of eggs does not matter. Don't stress over minuscule stuff. Yeah, I don't care about the color more so. I would rather have eggs that were eating what the chickens were intended to eat because that's why a lot of people get sick eating eggs because whatever that chicken ate with its monogastric stomach, a lot of that toxins or whatever may be in there end up in the egg and then you end up eating it. Same thing if you eat the chicken meat as well. So if you can, uh, if you can raise your own chickens naturally and they're just foraging around the yard, eating insects and mice and whatever they, whatever they find, it's a million times better. It tastes better too. Cranky Carnivore said, eggshell color is determined by the breed genetics of the chicken. Egg nutrition is determined by the hen's diet, 100%. We have, uh, did you guys ever see those Easter eggers? We had an Easter egger once. We would get uh, like the blue, blue green eggs. All right, you ready to go? We gotta go to uh, McDonald's and we're gonna grab, we've gotta go to McDonald's and we're gonna grab some patties and find a homeless person to get them to. And if we can't, then I'm just gonna eat them all myself and you're gonna eat them. I'm not hungry yet. You gotta have one. Oops. Jen has never had a McDonald's patty. She always gets Culver's. Oh look, we can get pizza. Pizza. No? No pizza? Pizza. 
Where did you put the receipt? I gave it to you. I don't remember where I put it. Uh-oh. Carnivores don't forget. I had one job. One job to do. Maybe it's back here. Yeah, I don't have it. There it, it is. All right, let's do this. Beep. That was quick. We were only in here 35 minutes. And if people want but to you stay forgot tuned, the ice. If people want to stay oh. tuned for uh, Target, that's right next door. I don't want to go to Target. I want burger patties. Do you guys want us to go to Target or do you want us to get burger patties? What do you want us to do next? This will be like uh, choose your own adventure. Do we go left or do we go right? How is no salt going? Thank you. Someone just asked, how is no salt going? I have not, it, maybe it's a placebo, maybe it's the fact I'm doing lion diet as well, I don't know, but it has been, I think four or five days. Shout out Adam Carnivore today. I'm just, I copy everything Adam does. Adam knows what he's talking about. Well, Adam copied Bella's Steak and Butter Gang, so shout out Bella's Steak and Butter Gang, then Adam. I've been four or five days. Shh, no, so I don't care. Four, I'm getting shushed. Four, wow. four or five days, no salt. I'm excited, Jen. I'm excited. I know, but goodness. Four or five days, no salt. I feel incredible. I'm not recommending everyone go out there and don't do salt. I'm a pro-level carnivore. I've been doing this for over a year now. I wouldn't have done this right in the beginning. It's just a little science experiment to see how I feel. I feel great. My sleep has been great. My whole body feels great. It's been, it's been a wonderful test so far. I'm continuing to do it. So I'm going to go get some patties from McDonald's. I'm going to tell them a la carte, no seasoning. I know it's not the cleanest meat. It's not grass fed, grass finished, but it's a thousand times better than those cinnamon buns that Jen threw in the cart when you guys weren't looking. <laughs> See, look, you got to have, this is the carnivore way. Except we forgot to get ice. Here, I can't hold this and do it at the same time. Maybe flip it around. Hi. Let's flip you guys around. There we go. So bring your own cooler. Carrie, are you still practicing intermittent fasting? Mm. Kind of. I mean, I'd probably eat in an eight-hour window. Sometimes I don't. I don't. I no longer ascribe to certain things like I got to do this for this amount of time. I got to eat a pound and a half of meat. I can't eat after this time. I just, I eat until I'm full and that's it. I don't even, I don't think about anything. It's so easy. All these eggs aren't even in here. That's all right. It's not too hot out, right, Jen? How does the meat taste without salt? How does the meat taste without salt? I missed it a little bit at first. But it's not that, it's not as drastic as you think. And when I use these, which I'm gonna be doing, and which I do, those New York strip steaks, I'm gonna smoke them. You get this cherry flavor in them, and it's almost like a seasoning. Paula is passing it on. She asked, I just, well, she just said, I just keep gaining weight on carnivore. What would you have to say about that, Carrie? I would say it's just- What are you eating? Well, what are you eating, Paulette? And maybe it's just um, muscle. I'll put those in the back, Jen. Sure. Somebody said, Carnivore Coder said, have you ever, have you ever buying a steer and having, well, now he went away. I was asking him. Weirdo. I'm assuming it says, have you ever bought a steer and have a local farmer raise it? No, we did not. Um, we actually have, Carrie does not make you look fat. Um... <laughs> We actually had, I'm gonna look away because there's cars. Um, we have Homestead Rescue, possibly. Well, they're interviewing us tonight. I'm gonna look at my dirty car. And uh, they might come and help us. And that's gonna be one of the things that they're gonna actually help us with is um, trying to figure out how to get meat and stuff on the homestead. So, oops. I guess if you guys wanna stay along for the ride, we're gonna go to McDonald's and you'll hear Carrie order his meat. Um, and then Target, if you guys want to head out with us to Target as well. Oh, I don't know if his glasses are what, but I look really red. See, I'm kind of red, but I'm not burnt. So that's a little different. I like it because I don't like my freckles. Did you so. see how I put the card away, Jen? No, I was kind of watching. That's you, one of the ways we heal humanity. We, we just do the little things. 
put our carts back. All right, what are we doing now, Jen? They said McDonald's then Target. That's what they said. They're, they're That's choosing our funny. destiny. You guys are. <laughs> All right, whatever you guys say. Question: Why is Carrie so weird? I don't know. I was born that way. Uh and that's not nice oh i don't care he's not weird he's i like weird what's the word if we weren't weird it would be a big it'd be a bunch of cookie cutter that always drove me nuts when people i went to high school with and stuff they'd go buy those cookie cutter houses and they'd get the cookie cutter car and they'd wear all the same clothes and they were doing everything exactly the same as everyone else mm -hmm. that's no way to live in my opinion that's boring everything that's ever been great in my life has been weird Carnivore being the weirdest thing of my entire life. Having I, triplets with Jen. I was going to say, being married to me might be the weirdest thing. Having family. triplets? That's kind of a weird way to start a family. It was freaking awesome. Right, Jen? Well, we started with Lily first. Yeah. Well, it's just practice. <laughs> All right. We're going to go to McDonald's, and we're going to order some quarter pounder patties. Professional. Carnivore style. Hopefully, the internet doesn't cut out. Yes, John Jr. We will give them to a homeless guy. I'm going to eat some of them, though. You know what? Actually, talking McDonald's about... sells ice. I didn't. I forgot about that. Thank you. Talking this is about, so helpful. No, no. Talking about homeless people. So when I go shopping, and it's not often, but when I go with the girls, when we go to Madison up the street. That same guy is there every single time we go, which again is not very often. But he's he hit me up a couple times. He's like, I don't I don't have a home. I have no money. Can can you give me some money? And I said I won't give you money, but I'll go buy you some food. And I've done it a couple times. And the last time he got me, I said, I don't mind getting you food, but this is like the fourth time I've gotten you something. And he's there every single time, which I don't know. Around Madison, sometimes people just, that's their job, I guess. I don't know. But for the truly homeless ones, I won't give money. I will give food. So that's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> You guys are going to make me cry giving to the homeless. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, don't give them the money. Yeah. No, exactly. If there's a mom out there, I'll give them food, and then I'll give them, you know, if she's with their kid, I'll... I'll... Sa Sam said, just joking uh, about the weird comment. That's actually what Jen said when you were running to the cart. <laughs> Playback. Instant replay. Yeah. Well, uh, I can call them weird. You could... It's joke or whatever. I don't care. I don't... It doesn't insult... I am um, at a point in my life where I am uninsultable i it's not that i'm a, it's not that i have no feelings I, there's words to me don't matter people can say whatever they want i don't care but i know you were just kind of joking around anyway but i uh i embrace weirdness some of the best people in the world that i've ever met have been weird 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 has that weird connotation too weird 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 you know what i think we should do we should go to what is that called cabela's over there we should get another kayak. No. What do you guys think? For the homeless guy? Yeah. Uh, the internet doesn't work in there. Emma and I did one. Uh, or Alyssa and I did one. We should before. get another kayak. Yes. We should go to Menards and get the chimney for the thing. We're going to McDonald's first. We're going to McDonald's right now. Yesterday, Jen, the girls, and I, oh my goodness, it was so much fun. We went kayaking. Whole, the whole family, except Lily, didn't come with because she's a. And because part we don't sniffer. have another kayak. We had a paddleboard. Emma was going to take the paddleboard. Oh, there was no, enough. she wasn't. I got stuck with the paddleboard paddle. That was terrible. How many patties should we get, guys? How many patties should we get? Does anyone want to see Jen try her first McDonald's patties? She gets these things stuck in her head. She's doing great. I'm not judging. She eats Culver's patties. She loves Culver's patties. She eats patties at home. She eats ground beef at home. But she won't do the McDonald's patties. And in my opinion, and Adam's opinion too, Jen, McDonald's patties taste better than Culver's and they're thicker and they're more delicious. It's 100% ground beef. Like, it's not like there's thick, ingredients. I don't like thickness. They're not, Plus, they're like, they're just, they're nothing. I, I'm, I am carnivore, but I like cheese. I have to, I I'm still have a meat aversion, so I'm sorry. I just, Amber said, no, McDonald's is gross. Thank you. Yes. Okay, but to, for people that say McDonald's is gross, I agree for the most part. This is a convenience thing, but... Their beef, they've literally tested it. It's 100% ground beef. There's no fillers, there's nothing added, and they don't use any seed oils. And I like it because they don't put any seasoning in it. And the reason I prefer it over Culver's is because Culver's is it's delicious, don't get me wrong, but it's expensive and it's like paper thin. I like the texture, but I need about four Culver's patties to equal one McDonald's patty. And 
Wendy's is good too, said Bob Pop Eater. I haven't tried uh, Wendy's yet. On my carnivore journey, my entire carnivore journey. I used to hit up Wendy's before I was a carnivore all the time. Look, here we are. Let's see so if Jen can burgers? do us. I'm, I don't want uh, How many patties should we order? Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Will you be using the Moolah today? A team member will be with you in a moment. Do it, do it Jeff to Prosper style. Sorry, eh? <laughs> Let's go. Sorry, I got a strange. Uh, we're carnivores here, and <laughs> we know the daddy. funny thing though. Hello, welcome to me now. How can I help you? Eight. Hi, I have a kind of a weird order. Can I have eight a la carte quarter pounders? Just the meat, the patties. Okay, um, eight quarter pounder patties. Just the patties. Yep, nothing on it. No salt, no seasoning, nothing. And a bag of eight? ice. Eight, yes. Uh, uh, yes. A bag of ice. No seasoning. No ice. salt? No seasoning. No seasoning, no salt, nothing, yeah. No salt, no seasoning. Right. We get no salt, Andrew. Anything no salt. else? A bag of ice if they have it. Uh, do you have like a bag of ice at all? A what? A bag of ice? Yes. Okay, can I have one of those too, please? Anything else? And may I get two large waters? Two large waters? Yes, please. Bag of ice from McDonald's? You were right. Anything else? No, thank you. Oh, okay. 2373 first window, ma'am. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Jim said that's an odd order. Yeah, that's probably the weirdest order they've had. A bag of ice and some quarter pound patties. <laughs> no, but I was Again, say, we're weird. I went to I need some money, dear. Oh, that's I went sounds to funny. McDonald's yesterday and I got you patties and they remembered who I was. Oh, we're freezing up a little. Seven quarter pound patties of meat. One no, it's actually eight, but okay. Patty of meat, special, bag of ice and water. Something like that. There, it, was, it was all the same patties. It was all eight patties, yeah. no salt, plain. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. This is the, ask him if he wants to be on YouTube. There's 500 no. people right now. You guys, should I ask him if he wants to go on? Right there. Yeah. I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him for you guys. Do you miss other foods? Absolutely not. And I don't miss anxiety, depression, whatever. Hope you, get, hope you have a good, good day. Thank we're you, we're doing a live stream with 500 people right now. Do you want to say hi to them or no? Sure. Aww. Hey, how are you? How's everybody doing? <laughs> is this the weirdest order? Eight patties, quarter pounder, no seasoning, no bun, no ketchup. Close to it. We're close to it. With the oh. bag of ice. We're, we're carnivores. <laughs> we only eat meat. Uh, okay. For a hundred days now. It's something really awesome. You should check oh, into days? it. Oh, over a, over a year. Yeah, I'm at 380 days right now. I'm only at 23 days, but yeah. Good it's life changing. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Have, Have a good a day. day. Oh. There we go. That guy's awesome. I've, we stopped here before. Yeah, he's sweet. Should we do more uh, putting carnivores on the spot? <laughs> Ask what's the weirdest order. Yeah. Hi there. Thank you. Good, how are you doing? Good. Oh boy, thank you. Sure, do you want me to go to number two? Yeah. Okay, sure. Yep. Look at this, it's got a little, who, who would have thought? You know, I used to work at McDonald's. I kind of vaguely remember something about the ice. All right, I'm gonna go throw this in the trunk while we're waiting. We're waiting on our patties. That's the other thing I like about McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Every time you gotta wait a little bit, but it's because they make them up fresh because nobody's crazy enough to order them that way with no seasoning or anything, so they always make them up fresh. Here, let's see if I can, can I prop? So I got an email from uh, Evan from um, Homestead Rescue. They said that they prefer us. Thank you. They prefer us to uh, do the Zoom call together. So that's great. Here, let's put this in here for a second. Now we have to. Sorry, sorry guys. Boom, there we go. Now we're gonna find 
a homeless person to get. I'm eating some of these patties, but luckily they gave us two containers. Yeah, but who's? I don't. They're gonna look at you like you're crazy. Like it's, it's not food. a burger. It's food. It's the best. Not... It's the best food we could give them. Jen. I agree, but I don't know. So we're we're on the hunt now to find a, a homeless person. Place. He's always there. Jen Jen has a spot in mind. A couple of years ago, we did a thing right during uh, 2020. All of that fun. We smoked up 18 racks of ribs and we passed them out to the homeless. There's like a tent city. Uh, it was pretty fun. And I, I got a lot of comments from people. What do they say, Jen? Oh, you're just doing this to be on TV or or Can't you do something nice and not or, film it? Right. And to those people? <laughs> no, I hate to that. Those people go out and do something good and then see if you don't. If, I don't know. If you're going to go out and do something nice and you're thinking about filming it but you're worried because people are going to say you're just doing it to be nice, film it. There's so much bad news in the world these days. Okay, talking about that. Negativity, about the, bad news, horrible the, news. The e-bike. Did you guys, um, don't say anything about it, but anything about the, stop putting on me. The e-bike. Did you guys watch the video on that that we did? I'm not going to give anything away. I want to see what people say first. We did a video on gifting a guy an e-bike. I'm curious if any of That you, was Jen's idea. Tell them about it real quick. I'm Why did you do that? Do we have you, air conditioning in here? It's really hot. I don't believe I have air conditioning in my oh, car. Oh, man. <laughs> um, you have to talk louder then. So, yeah. So, I went to Tractor Supply a couple, uh, probably a couple weeks ago when it was still snowing out to get propane for our dog kennel. And there was this really sweet guy there. I started talking to him. And he was such a gentleman. He helped me bring it out to my car because it was about an 80-pound propane tank. And we got to talk, and he's like, I'm homeless. I don't have anywhere to live. I had an e-bike. Uh, I spent like $2,500 on the e-bike. I had it for three years, and that was his transportation. Thousands of miles. That, where he, yeah, he put like 3,000 miles on it, he said. Going back and forth to work to Tractor Supply and where, where he stayed at the time. He stayed in a church because he, he was homeless. So I got to talking to him, and he's like, some jerk. I went to Walmart, went inside for literally two minutes to drop something off. And then some jerk uh, came and stole it. So I was just heartbroken. I'm like, I told him about myself and Carrie and and, and uh, Katie that we're you know influencers and we do we get things like that. And I said I, I I have one. I have a few at home. I don't. I said I don't know if I can just give it to you. But I went home. We went to Easter. Uh, was listening to Dave Ramsey and it was a giving show. And I looked at Carrie. I'm like. There's a guy that I know that I just met and uh, told like him the met story. met another man? Yeah, I, I, I told him the story and he was. we just looked at each other and we're like, let's do it. And it wasn't, oh, we got to go get this on tape. It was, we want others to do it too. Like, we should we have were, paid, We did it because we, we were inspired by Dave Ramsey. Yes, we should have paid for the person behind us, but, you know, it gets pricey. Just do other things, but we're going to go see if that guy is there to give him you know, patties. I don't know if he'll be there or not, but we do this all the time. You don't have to film yourself, but it's nice to tell people what you did because it inspires other people. If we didn't hear that from Dave Ramsey, I probably wouldn't have thought and to tell Carrie. Katie and I were actually going to go just do it anyway ourselves. Just give him an e-bike. Yeah, but so, and you get more out of it than you do giving to someone. Yeah, you do. Oh, there's lots of comments. Should they not film if they are saying live? I'm going to, I can't read it. It's going too quick, Jen. What have I missed? Well, we went to Costco and we bought a bunch of meat and eggs. And now everyone on the chat is telling us what to do live and we're listening to people. So someone suggested we get some food for a homeless person. We're only doing carnivore food. So we got some burger patties from McDonald's. I'm going to eat some of them. And I got four of them I'm going to give to, if we find someone in need that wants to, a healthy carnivore meal. Should we convert them to carnivore too or no? That's probably kind of hard to do. I don't know. I mean, I'd, it would be nice too because maybe they're homeless because they have brain fog or, you know, some other issues that that would help physically and mentally if they had something. I don't you know. know. You know, you had a spot where this guy's always standing? I'm trying to saying? remember where it is. Oh, he's yes, over by that Culver's. Been, no, he's not. Oh, they're he's sometimes by the, by the Culver's or they're over here. Oh, yeah, by the Culver's. Oh, shoot. I'm running a red, guys. Hold on. Oh, we're going to get talking. <laughs> Hold on, Carrie. <laughs> right here at the intersection. Oh, I want to 
see if that guy is there. I'm trying to remember where it was. Like I said, I don't there's go. usually a guy standing here. And I don't then go off. Yeah, but this McDonald's. is like a buddy that I give him food all the time when I'm there. Apparently, Jen has a homeless friend she visits with often. <laughs> Oh, yeah. My name is Chicky 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 Chicky. Cool. Nice. Can you say that again? Chicky 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 Chicky. <laughs> I'm at work, so I have to say bye now. Bye, uh, Tom Girl. Bye. Thanks for dropping by. Nancy Chandler is here. Hi, Nancy Chandler. I just got on the phone with a friend who is in Paris and going to a Michelin restaurant tonight. Oh, that sounds nice. Hey, Michelin restaurant over there in Paris and here in uh, Madison. We're eating burger patties from McDonald's. Hey, Bill Matt has entered the building. Oh, Bill and Daisy. Don't carry. Bill Matt, do not leave home without it. That's what Bill Matt stands for. Do not leave home without it. Bill just told me that uh, Jen... Well, I'm not telling you, Jen. Oh, you don't keep secrets. There's These are on sale right now. How much are they, Bill? I bought him one of those when he lost his other one. This is the original Bill Not one. Yes. It fell on the couch and I was freaking out. I didn't want to tell Bill. And then I'm like, I don't know, a week later, it showed up. It's, I wasn't freaking out because I didn't want to tell Bill. I was freaking out because I was genuinely upset that yeah, I lost it. Like, oh, I'm, I try to be so careful so with it, but mad. it kept sliding out of my pocket. I was mad too because you. Oh, yeah. It's never my yeah. fault. No, it was it's Jen's never. fault. She borrowed it. She was opening a box up. Let me borrow your knife. And then after that, I had amnesia. Oh, my God. And you I don't did remember what happened I to it. I slid it to you on the table. I said, here you go. And then a week later, I found it in the couch cushion. All so. right, let's see if we can find him. He's always here. Well, like I said, I don't come here all the time, but every time I do come here, he's always here. So that's what I mean. So you just got to look for him. Sometimes, and then I feel bad because the people inside. Show, show them where we're at here. The people inside come out and yell at him and tell him to leave. And I'm like, just not doing anything. I don't, I don't want to get this. You can say no. Kid, yeah. What, is he just sitting out here? Yeah, he just stands here. And then it, when it was cold, he went in the store. And I just got him food. And then he went to somebody else and they, they gave him money. And I'm like, no. Oh, I know another spot if it's not here. We'll see. Oh, there's a guy. No, that's a garbage can. Thought there was a guy sitting over there. This lady is taking this. This is gonna be, guys. This is gonna be about an hour before this lady crosses the road. Could you be nice? Is that rude? Is that rude? I joke. I'm just joking. Can we joke and laugh? Right, so Fun to laugh. Jen, what do you think about swear words? There's some people in the comments that get really mad when they're swearing, and I don't care because I think they're just words. I love swear words. I don't want to be disrespectful oh to people, but I just look at it like air coming out of your mouth, and we're all adults. No, We're not going to swear here, but... Well, we can't really, because I don't want to get demonetized, and I also don't want to be rude to people, but yes, I have a very bad friend. Okay, so Jen's, Jen's friend that she visits often, she can't find him. Now, can you call him, Jen? Oh, homeless people, most likely, no. don't have a phone. All right, go to that, uh, go to McDonald's. Behind, here one more time and see if he's behind that McDonald's, there's <gasps> that guy that we got the rib... Maybe if he wasn't here, maybe he got a job and he got his life started. That would make me happy. Well, at least the weather's warmed up for him. What do you guys, what do you guys think about um, homeless people and giving them money or food? I am of the, I don't know. I used to be very cynical, like I'm not giving them anything. Their the life is a result of their decisions. And then I realized a lot of homeless people are sadly former veteran people that have mental health disorders. Where no, it's not their issue. But also a lot of homeless people sadly have addiction problems and I don't want to give them money and enable their addiction. So that's why, that's why for us, it's like, them. let's, let's give them, let's give them food. Right. But it was kind of sad because when we did the food and we, we smoked up all those ribs and it was a huge plate full, he was asking for food. And then we drove by later. I don't want to save it. Amber said, homeless need me too. Yeah, I agree. And I've given money to homeless as well, but I always feel kind of bad. Like maybe I'm enabling an addiction, but who am I to judge? Then I'm like, I shouldn't be judging. The Bible says don't judge, right? right. Judge not lest he be but judged. If they have an addiction, I don't want to help that addiction. I'd rather say, hey, let's go to the store. Let's go buy something. Not here's 20 bucks to go do your fix. I guess the most basic survival is food. And so if you can help them with food, then it's kind of hopefully a win-win. We're going to find a homeless person. Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just ask him, Jen? What do you need? And he's going to say, I need money. Yeah. Maybe he needs socks for? or something. I'll go buy you something. 
Hey, we got to keep an eye on the time too, because Jen and I have to be uh, home at a certain time for our interview with Homestead Rescue this afternoon. You got some time though, right, Jen? Jen and I are going to go see a movie tonight. Shout out Bill Knott. We were going to see it today. For those of you who are watching, they're like, don't these people work? We work a lot. Oh, boy. We work a lot. Uh, okay, one day off, and you're with us right now on our day off, and we're actually, I'm holding the phone now on the day off, and we're not supposed to have Where do you want me to go, dear? Up here, and then over to that McDonald's okay. across the street. All right. So this is your, normally, and then we're not working. Normally we go to a movie because we're previewing it to see if it's appropriate to play in our theater. And that's what we're going to hopefully do yet tonight. We're going to see the movie Civil War, which looks really good. And I was talking to Bill Nott about it uh, because prepare, prepare, prepare. It looked sort of like an off-grid preparation one. I saw previews for it a long time ago. I don't even know what it's about, but it looked good. I want to see it. Someone said personal hygiene is very important. Is it possible to join you guys on a tour? Sure. What kind of tour do you mean? We do tours of our world famous Montello Theater history tours. Think about it. Said I will not support them. Uh, you have to judge correctly. Everything in your day is weighed against a judgment. Watch the movie. Same kind of different. Oh, my phone's getting hot. Does the phone get more hot when more people join? Because there's a lot of people on here right now. I don't know if you guys were here a couple minutes ago when we went to the drive through That was pretty cool. I asked the guy permission if he'd appear on the live stream, and he said, sure. That was pretty awesome. That guy looks like he wants to be on the live stream. Should we find more people and see if they want to talk to the live stream? we got 420 people on here right now. These numbers are crazy, too, Jen. It goes from 420, then I'll look a minute later, and it'll say 600, and then it'll say 400. Yeah. Oh, I think we got someone. I think we got someone. I think he's outside McDonald's with some patties already, but Jen, before you go to him, go up here because this little shopping center, there's always a guy. Okay. So there's a gentleman over there that looks like he's home because he has a cart full of stuff. And then up here is, this is where we gave the guy ribs. This was several years ago during COVID. Can I say that, Jen? He was sitting here in a wheelchair and I gave him a big rack of ribs and his face just lit up. You got to turn here. Oh, sorry, dear. Oh, I can just peek down I here. Slow down, slow down, slow down. There's no one's behind you. Yeah, I don't see anyone sitting there. There there. All right, let's go back. We've we found a person. I'm not going to put his face on camera to be respectful, uh, but we'll we'll do the best we can. I'm going to give him the, give him these burger patties. You should give him the whole bag, right, Jen? You should. I don't need I don't use forks and knives, but we'll give him the forks and knives and the napkin. What are you going to say? Are you hungry? Yeah, just speak the truth, Jen. You don't got to overcomplicate it, right? We're carnivores now. We can talk to anybody. How you doing? You need anything? Are you hungry? I'm not to flip around to you. I'm gonna have you hold the camera, but let's be respectful and not put his face on camera without permission. Okay, Jen? Okay, but maybe we can get the conversation. Now, please don't crash. Oh, where did he go? There. He might have went inside. Well, we'll show you his stuff because he's not there. He was right. He was sitting right here by this pile of stuff. Hmm. He's got an orange oh, he went soda. Inside. You think he's hungry? Maybe he went to get it, go to the bathroom or something. All right, we're gonna circle around. You guys, let's see what comments. Ribeye Ranger said, X copy or give money to an agency to help the homeless. Food only to the individual. Do not enable with cash. 99% yes. of cash goes to alcohol or drugs. Yes. Thank you, Ribeye exactly. Ranger. That's what yes. I was thinking too. Tents and hygiene are important. I was homeless for three years. Oh what is the movie Civil War rated? Please let us know how the movie is. I th I'm not sure what it's rated actually. That's a good question because we normally don't show our movies at Montello Theater unless it's very, very, very good and it's not too over the top. Uh, it's definitely PG-13, maybe R. I'm not going to check on my phone now because I'll probably end up, end up ending the whole stream on accident. We're circling around now to drop off the burger patties. Ooh, Jen. Jen's getting excited. Where are you going? It's the other way. I know, but he, if he went to the bathroom or something, it's going to take a minute. Jen's getting excited because it's um, rummage sales season, right, Jen? Mm -hmm. Tell him how you like rummage sales, Jen. I like rummages and I like free stuff, too. So. <laughs> Funny story, when Carrie and I were littler... I mean, we were still adults because we moved out when we were 18, so um, we would always like go around, like in the area we used to live in Milwaukee, it was a lot more busier, but people would throw stuff out and then he would like figure out how to fix it. Like if there was an air conditioner, someone throw it out because something was wrong with it. Well, he's so smart, he would just fix it up and, and resell it or use it. So I mean, we started young doing businesses. So yes, I get excited about rummages because you buy stuff cheap and then you sell it. 
So you make a couple bucks. Or you use it. Or you use it, but yeah, I mean. All right, Jen, you got to turn around now. You're getting I way off track here. You're taking us to a dead end. Yeah, uh, yeah, Anna from Poco Moonshine family, when I saw her Saturday, we were talking Talk briefly. a little louder. We were talking briefly. We didn't really get a lot to talk because her cute little son, uh, William, wanted to just go play on that beautiful swing set, or play set, and she was saying that she loves rummaging. I absolutely love it. Anybody else like rummaging? What so do you look for? I don't know. You, you, you should go rummaging with uh, Anna sometime. Mm -hmm. And then me and JT will go knock on doors of strangers. There you go. Take Knock on door. Us. What about if you ask the rummagers? That hey, great rummage, show. Can we make you a steak? Can we come in your house and cook you a steak? Oh my gosh. Yeah, because you get hungry after that. You wanna... Speaking of my buddy JT, uh, May 18th, there's this big thing in Wisconsin called Meat Fest that I never heard of. And I feel ashamed that I call myself a carnivore and we have Meat Fest going on. I never even heard of it. So I think we might go to that and maybe try to organize a meetup there. We have a big meetup. Anyone in the South Carolina area at the end of the month, there's a link in basically every video I've ever done. If you're really interested, go look. I don't, it's probably not in this video, but there's a link in the description of most of my videos. South Carolina meetup, it's completely free. I'm gonna be there, Adam's gonna be there, Mimi's gonna be there, Emma and Katie. Unfortunately, Jen's not coming, but she's gonna to come to more meetups in the future, right, Why Jen? Why can't I go? Because she's gotta hold down the fort. Yeah. She's gotta hold down the fort. That's a cute dog. That's gotta be hot. Oof. What kind of dog was that, Chen? Well, a poodle. A we got lab, a gigantic a like a water thing here, I guess. <laughs> Another dog? Everyone's out. Finally got some warm weather. What was it, Jen? Like a week ago, we had snow on the ground? Yeah, we did. Look Just like tree. that. It's beautiful. Look at the grass on the ground. It's all green already. It was all, there was actually snow on top of this grass a week ago. Mm -hmm. Wisconsin's crazy that way. All right, we're making our way around. Here's some couches Jen wants to pick up. Those no, look lovely. Good. No, you're good. We're making our way around to McDonald's to see if we can give this food away. What do you guys want us to do next? <laughs> you plan our day for us. It's our yeah. one day off. <laughs> we got to get a... We, we should stop at Menards at some point. Cranky Carnivore Cutler said, I got some awesome rummage stuff when our city has a brush and bulky uh, pickup. Many alleys are yes. filled with useful stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah, we've been there. Exactly. Nancy says, I only see 98 likes, thumbs up. Come on, everybody, smash the like button. Yeah, let's go. This is our day off here. My hand is getting really hot. This phone is so hot, Jen. It's like on fire. That's because you, dear. All right, we're hitting, the, we're hitting the McDonald's now. If Jen's going to, this is what Jen does all the time. It drives me insane. Every time she's got to go somewhere, she 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 overshoots it or she we had to circle back 14 times. I think we just overshot McDonald's. Now we're going to circle back around again. Yeah, what, shuddy. what should take about two minutes ends up taking about 20 minutes. I was giving him time to go pee. Now, what if we offer this guy some food and he's like, I'm not homeless. I just have a bunch of uh, bags with me and a grocery cart. Fine, then you're not homeless. Good. Uh, we never said you're homeless. Just, no, just have some patties. Some food. Enjoy. All right, here we are at McDonald's. It is hot in here. Should we get some more patties, Jen? You getting hungry? Oh. oh, there he is. All right, I'm going to be respectful here with us. Let's see his head's down so we can show. I'm just turning around so you can And you see Jen circling around again. She's going to go four miles that Let's way and then circle going. around. The guy's going to be, go. Go. the guy's going to have purchased a house, got his life back together. He's going to have a job and a career. He's going to have several irons in the fire by the time Jen gets around. Shut up. All right. You're going to kind of, you're going to record this respectfully. Don't show his face. Okay. Okay. Give me. We're almost there. Give it, dear. Okay. Flip that thing around. All right, guys. Can't find the thumbs up in the new format. Here we go. Put it closer. Hmm. I'm putting it down. Hey, how's it going? You want some food? There, I got you. That's the burger patty. Okay. All right. Wish you well, man. Thanks. Got class. You too. Have a good day. Oh, no, his car's coming. Aww. Yeah, he looked, like he, needed a, he looked like he needed a good meal. Regardless or not, if you're homeless or not, it's just nice to do a good deed. Whether he eats it or throws it out, I don't care, to be honest. I and, just... and, he's eating carnivore now. He's got a carnivore meal and he doesn't even know it. Love you too, Nancy. Bill Nutt said awesome. All right, guys, I can't drive and look at the phone. Carrie's taking it back. Just do something. Try to do 
Try to give yourself. Be kind. Be kind, be kind, be kind. See, yes. Bill, we're listening. Be kind, be kind, be kind. Don't just look for a homeless person. Just okay. tell, tell somebody when you go to the store, hey, you look beautiful. I'll tell you a quick story. So I don't think he's hitting on me. I mean, why, oh, would, boy, here we go. why would anybody hit on me? I don't know. But he's the cutest guy at a uh, quick trip right across. Well, this make my day. And I, I'm honest with Carrie. I tell him. He, he, I went in there Sunday and Carrie was in the car. And I went inside. We give him pop at the end of the night. I know you guys don't like it. But instead of throwing it out, I give it to somebody. They really enjoy it. So I'm making their day. So I go in there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because that's when I work every day at the theater. And I gave him a bag of popcorn. And every time I go in there, he said something nice. Hey, beautiful. Hey, gorgeous. What's going on today? Oh, you look beautiful. It just makes me smile. I love it. So just even if, like I said, I don't, he knows Carrie, so I don't think he's hitting on me, but just makes my day that every time I see him, he just says something sweet like that. So I love it. So here's my two cents. Just go out and say, Emma does it all the time. If she sees somebody, oh, your nails are beautiful. Oh, I love your hair. Emma's you know, an expert at that. Make somebody's day. So, um. It's such a beautiful thing. We had a question. Why no salt, Jen? I'll make this real quick. I'm doing no salt because... Bella Steak and Butter Gang, she did a video about it. Dr. Chafee doesn't use salt. My buddy Adam tried no salt for a couple days. And uh, I'm like, I'm just going to try it. Again, I'm not advocating everyone stop doing the salt. I, I wouldn't change anything you're doing. You do you, I'll do me. But I have been feeling amazing the last couple days. And I already felt incredible on Carnival, right, Jen? Yeah. I've been feeling even better with no salt. So, yeah, I was just munching on this while Jen was talking. Eating one of those patties, no salt, just straight up ground beef. I don't know. Uh, Bella did a... If you guys want to learn more and you're like, what is this thing all about? Go watch Bella's video. She got into the science and everything. Dr. Chafee's talked about it. I'm just doing a little experiment on myself and I feel really good. My whole thing is, I think I'm doing so well on carnivore because I've returned to what is natural. And I don't know, like hunter-gatherer dude out in the woods would probably hunt an animal and eat it. I doubt he would be like, let me season every single bite. And I was using a ton of salt. I'm deficient in salt, so I'm doing exactly the opposite of what my blood test tells me, but I feel great. If I get dizzy or I get any issue with it, I'll eat some more salt. It's not like some big strict thing I'm doing, but I'm just trying it out, so. Let's see, what other questions do we have here? The other thing too with, I, I see some comments, we need salt, you're gonna diet. There is sodium in meat and the thing that's so tricky is my blood test showed that I was low in sodium, right? Based yes, on yeah. what? Based on what? Low for whom? Low for people that are on the standard American diet that have completely different body chemistry than I do as a carnivore. Like, why don't I get scurvy and other people get scurvy? My body chemistry as a carnivore and ketosis is completely different. I think there's something there. I, we definitely need sodium and I'm getting it. I'm getting it out of the meat. We'll see. Uh, again, I'm not telling anyone what to do. Uh, you guys, you're eating salt, continue doing the salt. It's just a little experiment, but it's very interesting. Dr. Chafee's been doing this for a long time, and I want to be like Dr. Chafee when I grow up. That guy's next level. But if I get weird or lightheaded, I'll definitely change it. All right, what do you guys want us to do next? Should we, hit, should we hit Menards quick and get one of those little chimney things? You guys are going to get sick of us at this point. Should we Should we keep going or you guys want to... You guys can drop off, I guess, whenever you want. I'm not a fan of McDonald's patties. I love the grilled chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. I, I haven't had those grilled chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. The patties, I think those patties can be hit or miss because I had them at a different McDonald's. I didn't like it, but the last couple times I really do like it. For me, it's like, what is there not to like or like? It's literally 100% ground beef. There's no seasoning, there's nothing. So in some ways, if I'm saying I don't like McDonald's ground patties, in some ways I'm saying I don't like ground beef. It's literally 100% ground beef. I have no seasoning on it. If I get 100% ground beef and cook it at home, it should be the same thing. And I don't use seed oils. That's the main thing I like that I'm scared at with most other fast foods. And I know it because a couple of people have said it, but the girls used to work at McDonald's. They literally just take the patty and they put it on the on the cooktop. So, but I get it. A lot of people always comment, "That's disgusting. Don't eat McDonald's." I'm not advocating for McDonald's. I'm not like go eat McDonald's every single day. When we're out and about and we have a day off and I don't want to cook something, sometimes I'll grab some McDonald's. 
Actually, I've been a lot lately, right, Chad? Yeah. Actually, if I'm being truthful, I was talking about wouldn't it be funny if I did a video just eating only McDonald's burger patties for a week? That's like Fathead or something, isn't it? Yeah. He ate all of it, not just... He ate all the junk, though. Yeah. Carrie, will you ever try raw beef? That's from Slipknot Fan. Ah, uh, I, I, I'll never say never. I, I think I actually have. You know, in Wisconsin, I don't know if this is everywhere, but... At our family reunions, we used to have this thing where they'd eat raw ground beef. They would usually do it with like a little piece of bread and onions on the top. And it was straight up raw ground beef. I always thought it was the weirdest thing, but... I don't know how far back we go as humans, but if you were in the wild and you hunted an animal and you didn't have fire... I don't, I don't know. I'm open for anything. Y'all from? Is anybody else from Wisconsin? Because he's talking about doing another meetup. You don't have to keep putting it on me. <laughs> he is eating some more. I'm, I'm eating my patty. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't eat until later. I still haven't eaten yet. I, don't, I like fasting. I don't like to eat until I'm hungry. What are you going to eat today, Jeff? I'll probably go to Culver's and have a burger. I just, I don't know. I just, McDonald's, especially yesterday, I bought some for the girls. Lily wanted to go out with me last night, so I took her out. Uh, to Walmart, and Carrie said, bring, I think, 12 patties home, so I did, and Emma was eating, and she said she'd been into an icky, so I'm like, oh. so, I'm just, I can't see the comments, because I'm driving, but I'm just wondering, um, where I, where everybody is from, if you're interested in another meetup in Wisconsin, I know he's going to North Carolina, and then he's going to meet a bunch of you guys at Austin, right, to Austin, right, yeah. well, in Texas, um, just sucks for me because I can't go, but it's part of owning a business, I guess, and having kids. I gotta stay behind with Delissa. So, I'm at a stop. Let's see. Find a homeless vet to buy him anything he needs at Dollar General. Ah, that's a good idea. There's not a lot of homeless people around here. Wait, are homeless carnivores seek GMO? Just kidding. Did I read that right? I don't know. I gotta go now. Um... Just talk, Jen. Don't read. You're going to get a car accident. I know, but I like reading, too. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. For the people just joining, my name is Jen, and I'm a sugar addict. No, I'm just kidding. You're um, not kidding. You're not kidding. Yeah, I, I'm really not kidding. Well, I haven't. I've been doing good. It's, what did I say, day 23 today? I'm not really paying attention to the days. I'm paying attention to how I feel. This shirt that I have on, it's extra baggy, which I absolutely love. It's only been 23 days, and I definitely lost some inches, which, by the way, we forgot to get a tape measure for me. I'm not just going to use a metal tape measure at Menards. <laughs> um, but I feel better. Um, anybody on here, uh, I appreciate the shout-out on Meat Sisters. Um, Shout out Limitless Lindy. Yes, Limitless Lindy. I made the mistake and I said somebody else's name and I felt awful. But I saw a post this morning thanking me for telling them about Meat Sisters. So if you are interested, it's a Limitless Lindy on Facebook. It's just called Meat, M-E-A-T, Sisters. And it's absolutely amazing. I was just blown away by all the comments saying that they found that site through me. So I'm just going to shout it out again. And I'm going to shout out JT and Anna on Poco Moonshine family. I say it almost every time, but she lost over 111 pounds. I'm just getting started. I'm only on day 23. Maybe you want to follow me because I'm on an early journey. I don't know. But Anna is amazing. I got to see her last Saturday and she just looked amazing before and after, but just trying to think. And um, Adam from Carnivore Today, he got to stay with us for the last week and I loved it. But that's all I got to say about that. But I'm I'm happy that my clothes are fitting a lot less snug. So that's really a, a, a big improvement for me. Are you impressed? But I won't eat. I'm not hungry. I'll eat when I'm hungry. Do you guys do that too? Do you do uh, intermittent fasting? I don't know. I think it's good. I always did it when I was doing uh, keto too. I would do the same thing. I would just intermittent fast. Should we bring them in with us? It just makes me feel better. I mean, there's 365 people, so we lost some. Oh my goodness. 148 thumbs up. Thank you guys. And I'm sorry. I don't know what it means. It says $1.99 in the corner. Super chat. Oh, thank you. I'm still kind of new to this. Um, I, if you guys want to hang with us, let's go. Yeah, if you don't want to hang with us, just 
Drop go, off. go, bye. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Oh, of course we'd prefer. We'd prefer if you wanted to. Tell us what to do next. Here, here we are. My favorite. This is my favorite place, right, Jen? Yeah. Where did we get here last week? And then your husband installed. The here. heater. No, we also got. I don't know. A water softener. Oh, that's right. We finally got a water softener. Emma, if you nag Carrie enough, he'll get it for you. Yeah, Emma Can literally. I Can I have a new car? Can I have a new car? Can I have a new car? <laughs> Emma broke Doesn't me down. Broke me down. <laughs> Asking over and over again, we need a water softener. So I installed that last week. That was fun. Yes, but we also updated the theater, which looks really nice too. Yeah, we updated a closet in the theater. Mm -hmm. And what are we here for now, Jen? I need a light switch for the closet. Jen needs a light switch? I a and I need a chimney thingy. I wonder if they got Menards in Alaska. Ask, ask that. Phil, do they have Menards in Alaska? I don't know why they wouldn't. It's like a Home Depot, but way better, right, Jen? Menards is like a Home Depot, but way better, in my opinion. Why is it better? I hate going to Home Depot. Every time I do, I get lost. Nothing seems logically where it should be. When I'm in here, I just I know where everything is. What are you getting, Jen? I was thinking for the theater because, unfortunately, people spill soda. And it goes from the floor to Kiri's office ceiling. Yeah, I had soda dripping on my head. So I was just looking for like a cleaner, like a good floor cleaner. I've been using just some play solid or something, but it's my day off. I'd like to look at Here, we need more comments. Someone said I want to be like Dr. Chafee too. Oh, I'm way far behind. Menards has more selection. Yeah, that's true. You guys are too funny. If you're in Sun Prairie, take a detour on 33 West into Baraboo and go into the meat market. Hey, carnivore farmer, that is my place. I go to the meat market in Baraboo. We were just there. Last week, what, Thursday? We were there last week, Thursday. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, we're in Sun Prairie now. Oftentimes, when we need to go to Menards, it's an hour away to either Baraboo or Sun Prairie. So we go to either. Oftentimes, we'll go here because there's a Costco. Go find yeah. your switch. Your switch you is over there. Your switch is over there. Fantastic. Guys, it's fantastic. She finally found something. <sighs> it's fantastic. It only took three hours. Break the bottle before we even... Now you need a thing because in the closet at the movie theater, you have to plug the light in every time you want to use it. So she wants a cordless switch. Here. I guess I was wrong. Anybody know where it is? <laughs> oh, did I find it? It's not list. Oh. That's a dimmer. Oh. Foot switch. You gotta wire that up. Hmm. No, they have one like uh anti lane. Yeah. Do you guys need any lighting? Bill said we got to buy batteries for the flashlight. Thank you, Bill. We're on it. See, now that is a good comment. I respect that. He's absolutely right, too, because we're out of AA batteries. Oh, prepare, prepare, prepare. Thank you, Bill. I think we need D. It's either D or C. We got Soul Traveler, 83 years old and trying to start carnivore way of eating. You got this, Soul Traveler. My best advice for you... My best advice for you, Soul Traveler, is... Watch some Dr. Barry videos, how to get started right. Don't just start eating meat. Dr. Barry, Dr. Chafee.
Grazie. No, that's like a switch you wire into the wall. You're trying to get one that you can yeah, use with a battery. Wouldn't it be there? Is that my dad? <laughs> I know we haven't seen him for a while, Terry, but... I love this part of the song. Ready? Nope. Ah! No? I'm embarrassing Jen by singing the song that's playing over the thing. Can you guys hear the music playing in the background? Oh, wow. You don't like this song? Just don't bother me. I can scream right now. All right, come on. We got to figure this out. I'm going to go look for my charcoal thing. Just ask someone, Jen. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. You put a battery in it and you push the... These are all ones you wire. No, why would they put the wireless ones by the wired ones? It's like a specialty weird thing. Probably getting a comment right here. They're like, it's right there. Right? Yeah, I'm going to get demonetized. Not from the, because they can hear the music up here, but because my voice is so perfect. Oh, wait until Weezer comes on. Jen, just go ask. Oh, wait, wait. Boom. Is the same thing? $13, that's better. There we go. This is it. I found it. Yay. Don't worry about that, Carrie. Great first step to carnivores to so throw out all your non-carnivore foods and vegetable oils in your house. Soul Traveler, good advice. That's from Who's Your Carnivore, Brett. Wow, Carrie, you sound like Pavarotti. Oh, thank you. Jen's like, Jen's like, don't get him started, please. I don't know what Pavarotti is. He's a famous singer. I'm a, I'm a metal fan. I'm not a... What's this? Is this Miley Cyrus is on now? We got to get a chimney now for grilling and we got to get batteries. Batteries are back that way. I'm a Batteries are back this way. Bill, what else do we need? Carrie's voice is angelic. Jen, they said my voice is angelic. That it makes a big difference. I know, so let's, is there a cheaper one? Just give me the cheaper one. I don't know what, it was a C or a D, so we'll grab them. Cheap ones. Carnivore Scott said, my goat, my voice has been compared to a goat in distress. Do you guys ever see, do you guys ever see those videos of the goat screaming? That is hilarious. It sounds just like a human. It sounds like you, Terry. Oh, Bill Not, look. You got any spider clothes in here? Bill, how much were they? I paid over $100 for mine. Actually, for his. Okay, Here's a knockoff one. Oops, Swiss Army knife. Look, I should get this for cutting on my steak. Oh my gosh. Bill, is this a good steak cutting knife? You got the serration on the one side? No? This is my favorite part, the tools. What do I need, Jen? A, a hammer. You don't have any hammers, ever. I have 500 hammers. I have 6,000 tape measures, but I can't tell you where one is. Exactly. Exactly my point. Jen's getting me extra hammers because I don't put them away when I'm done with them. Can never have enough hammers or tape measures, right, Jen? Oh, I need a tape measure, but not that kind. I need a. They're measuring stuff that's on the next roll. 
They probably have one that's flexible. You've been here too many times. Is that bad? Yeah. Jen's looking for a tape measure. Well, Emma won't actually have mixer, so you can actually... You want to go to Target too, then? No, I'm not going to Target. We got to get the... We got to get the fun stuff now. The stuff the for grilling. Thing. All right, let's go. It's this way. It's right down there. Oh, guys, you remember all these? Those were fun. Remember those? That's something we could all forget. Jen, should I keep singing? Should I keep singing, Jen? Yes. <coughs> we're getting a grilled chimney thing. We bought a grill from here and I'm not happy with it. Oh, shush. It's right here. This, we bought this grill from here. It was the first time I bought a grill in a long time. It wasn't that big a one. And the goats chewed right through this wire. Chewed right through it. I know, you could just fix it. Nightmare. That's why I can't have nice things. small there it is I spotted it how much was that Jen I need some cherry there it is Cherry, cherry ribeyes. This is what I needed right here. Place crumpled newspaper in bottom, position under center of charcoal grate, add charcoal to canister, light paper through holes in the bottom of the starter, allow charcoal to heat 10 to 15 minutes. That's what we need. We have flavor boosters. Flavor boosters? What's that, Jen? Add hickory wood. Oh, it's charcoal. Should we try one? Cumin chili. No, that's got vegetables in it. I'm not interested in that. It's just the flavor. It's not the actual vegetable. It's disgusting. Do we need anything else, Jen? What do we need, guys? What should we get? Bill, what did we forget? What we got we the batteries. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Someone said the chimneys work great. I love that chimney starter. Maybe gate around the grill. Yeah, to keep the goats out, or we could just put the goats in their own baby gate, which is their enclosure that nobody leaves them in ever. Oh, you know what? We need more charcoal. How can I walk right past that? I don't know what the good charcoal is to get. I'm rookie level when it comes to this stuff. Premium hardwood charcoal briquettes. Is that good, guys? Should I get that one? Bill said duct tape and bulk trash bags. He's right. Bill? It's all stuff we need. I thought you meant for the, Bill, I thought you meant for the goats. I was just going to yell at you. Oh, maybe he did. Oh, no. Bill, were you referring to the goats? No, you weren't. You will be on my bad side, buddy. I don't know what charcoal to get. Should I get this? <laughs> Hardwood lump. Kingsford, I don't care for Royal Oak. That's from Brett, who's your carnivore, so well, I'm going to listen. Do they have Kingsford here? I thought I saw some earlier. Interestingly, not in the grill aisle. I thought I saw it in the middle or somewhere. Or is that at Sam Costco? Who's your carnivore, Brett? What, um, <laughs> Bill said no, laugh out loud. Mm -hmm. Who's your carnivore, Brett? Uh, what uh, pellets do you prefer? I've been doing cherry pellets with the ribeye and I really like it, but I've never tested anything else.
cherry wood large chunks. There we go. All right, I got cherry. I got the little pellets because I got the pellet smoker. All right, Jen, are we good here? Bill would never suggest such a thing. Ah. Thank you, Bill. Just don't suggest it to me. I thought that was more funny. You would. How do we take care of the goats? Garbage bags and duct tape. <laughs> That's funny, Jen. That's not funny. You know what we need? I don't know how to explain it. For the dog kennel, how it's the outside dog kennel, how it stays on the wall. You know, you got the metal piece, and then you screw it to the wall. What is that called? It's like a seat cup or something. Seat clamp. All right, we gotta you go. Know what it is. You know what that is? No. You guys know what that is? Just a metal piece with two holes on the side and then like a seam. You know, the shape of the no. no. I need one of those. All right, should we I'm wrap it up? I'm on my phone because I'm talking about my brother. He's not doing so good right now, so don't mind me on my phone now. He's not doing Who's your well. carnivore said, make sure your pellets are 100% wood with no crap in it. Let's see what it says on here. Wood dust, a substance known in the state of California to cause cancer. All right, I don't like that. I don't like that. Why does everything have to be so difficult? This has wood dust in it that says it can cause cancer. I don't think I want it anymore. Let's put this back. Maybe these other ones are better. Competition blend. Same thing. I'm gonna have to start searching online. Everything's junky. Everything's got issues. Carry burning any wood can cause cancer in California. Oh, that's very true. I didn't think of it that way. All right, Jen, should we wrap this up? We're gonna wrap this up, I think. Oh, bad time to wrap it up. Jen's having issues with her brother, right? I'm not having issues with my brother. My brother has this, has issues. We kind of talked about it briefly, but something's happening. So I got to go. I'm going to say goodbye, guys. Thank you, 359 people that are still with us. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for sitting with us for about an hour and a half. You guys have all been amazing. I will be doing an update video on my 30th day. Like I said, I feel amazing. I can't believe that I lost that much already. Um, I love you all. Thank you for everything. Stay strong. Anybody that is new to carnivore or want to learn about it, this is definitely a channel. You can ask Carrie. I always reach out to him. I hate being this close to a thing. Bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Have a great week. Beep. I don't know where it is. Say beep. beep.